In the last video I started the second watercolor from the Royal Concert Hall in Amsterdam. And today I start the third one, although I haven't finished the second one yet. I think this subject needs a playful way in the drawing. And for me that's easier to reach when I'm working on several paintings at the same time. It brings a feeling of freedom, because there is no matter when one of them won't succeed. I always prefer a quick sketch as a start. The less detail the better. With too much details in the drawing I fasten myself. I want to give myself the opportunity to draw in the next process, in watercolor. It must not become traced or over traced.
Before lunch, this watercolor reached the same part as the second one. So I can choose which one I will finish. During lunch, I have a moment to hear a recent interview I had for my podcast. My podcast is a new project that I'm finishing these days after a year. Dus ik, ik kan niet zien hoeveel iemand gewerkt heeft. Ik, ik ben overtuigd dat elk boek wat ik in elk geval heel goed vind, dat daar ontzettend veel werk aan Dat zit daarin. Dat, dat zit erin. En je, je voelt het niet. Nee. Of ik, ik, als ik het lees, dan soms ben ik zo uh, verrast door een wending waarvan ik denk... Ja.
So this afternoon we have three watercolors from the Royal Concert Hall in Amsterdam. Um, this one is, is not finished yet. Perhaps I can finish this one or maybe tomorrow. I started last week or two weeks ago with this watercolor and quite soon I saw that the background, this area, uh, needed more rest. It's built up in, in three or perhaps uh, four layers and um, the clearness is, is a bit bit gone with all those layers. So after that I started this watercolor. The background is clear but as soon as I was working on this one I felt that I needed more cold grays in the distance and warm grays in the foreground. So I try that today. This is more colder gray, this is more warmer grays. Uh, I'm quite happy with this one. I'm, I do not think it's finished yet. Um, but I like this composition. I like this, this hard backlight. Uh, I like the, the lines. Actually all the lines are going towards the point where the light is coming from. But uh, a tricky thing with this kind of light effect is that is that you don't have uh, strong colors. You have strong contrasts, uh, but the colors are almost gone. There is some color in the sky and on the ground, but all these shapes, all these buildings are shadows, silhouettes. So you must focus on the life, the drawing, the moving in the foreground. Okay, I'm a bit done now with this uh, Royal Concert Hall subject. I made two, I finished two watercolors and the third one is almost done. I can do that another day, perhaps for my exhibition. But for the client I think I have two beautiful watercolors so he can make a choice himself. Before I'm doing another commission, I would like to do a um, watercolor from a picture with backlight as well, but more color in it. And even some steam from a machine on the, on the road. And there are a couple of workers in orange and strong bright green clothes, bicycles and long shadows towards the, the viewer. The letters in the middle are very strange. I remember that I built those in I think the late 90s. It was very modern. Uh, in, a, in a painting it's not easy to to do it because you don't recognize them as letters. But the construction is, is quite interesting. 
it's straight and uh, it's easier than the trees in the distance they are just in a row and very organic against the straight windows behind them This is not a common, uh, popular subject, I think, but for me it's one of my favorites. I like those workers in those uh, strange colored clothing on the street. And this is not a, this is not a, a, a sunny summer day, you know, this is in winter time. Uh, all the people on the streets are going to their work or going back. There are no tourists in, in this street right now, but it is a very popular street. Uh, the House of Parliament is on the left. But I like those Monday, Tuesday, wintertime days, you know. This is what you see when you make a stroll alone to the baker, or just for, for pleasure. <laughs> 